this is an oblique drawing, which means that you're going to draw the front exactly as it is here, and then project back using your 45 set square, and all the depths, so in other words, like that, this is between there and there, between there and there, between there and there, get halved. Okay, and this is the two and a half D drawing, it's called. It's made to look a bit three dimensional, but it isn't really, because anything drawn in a bit of paper isn't three dimensional. Okay, first things first, um, we're just going to draw this basic shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to pause the video just now and then just um, no, no, I'll just draw it. You can speed me up if you wish. I need to draw it anyway. So I'm just going to measure that length there, mark it on there. So let's draw the, the basic shape. The thing about obliques is that you circles at this level anyway are just drawn with a pair of compasses. So it's quite straightforward. There's no sort of like isometric you have to do generators and just isometric circles and obliques. Um, you don't need to do that. You do it at a higher level sometimes but not uh, intermediate two or intermediate one, so you're all right. In fact, you don't do these intermediate two at all. Okay, we're going to draw back a couple of lines here, um, here, here, and here, and the overall distance back is determined by measuring this distance here. Now, you need to be quite precise, and I'm making the. Uh, 38, 39 millimetres, 39 millimetres, so almost 40 millimetres. So I'm going to make it about 19 millimetres back, just short of 20. So I'm going back to there. That in there. And just extend it down to the floor. So that's basically out length, which I'm going to fill in so you can see it. So, so far, so good, and so far, fairly straightforward. one on the bottom. Okay, we're going to do the, the front face just now. Um, as you can see there, we've got a circle here, because this is it's meant to be a torch, and this is the kind of lens of the torch coming out. So, we need to find where the centre of the circle is. Um, and then we'll mark that on the front here. So, what we'll do is we're going to extend these centre lines, so that I can easily find the position. So, measure from there to there, that gives me the horizontal position, and um, I'm just going to check that out again because that looks a bit out, no it's fine, let's just check that again, to the centre, that's okay there, right, and just Draw that centre line in. And then how far down it is, I think it's, I thought I was going to say it's square, but it's not, so measure down there and mark it there. And just draw a centre line in there. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Well, okay. Right, the uh, shape here. The cylinder really comes out um, that amount there. Now it'll actually come out half of that because it's an oblique drawing. Um, and the key to this here is to draw the outside of that circle first and then draw the inside of it. And the way that you do it is this is the centre of the inside circle. Now I'm not talking about this small circle here, I'm talking about this whole um, 
cylinder here. We're going to ignore this inside circle for now, right? Uh, but this cylinder as it is here, it's got a centre there for the inside ring of it, and then there's it obviously comes out so far, and there's going to be another centre. So what you do is you take your 45 set square, and you draw a line down from that centre. You measure how far out it comes, and it comes out a centimetre, so we half that, and it comes out 5 millimetres. So 1 centimetre is 10 millimetres. Then I set my compass to the radius of that circle, and I simply draw with my compass a circle. Okay, and that is the outside circle. The inside of this cylinder as it is, is going to be centred around that point. So what I do now is, I draw another circle, but only draw it for what would be seen, which is there. I can now easily set my, my compass up for the smaller circle on the inside and I just put the point in the first projected centre point and draw a nice circle there and that's basically that part done this is some sort of design on the front so I just need to get some measurements and draw this up so I'll measure that Incidentally, goes all the way around the side, so mark another point down there. And then we've got this arrangement in the middle here, so measure where it starts, mark it, mark it on both sides. I would measure the height of it, mark the height on there, and we'd also measure the other points along it. Just there and there and that's now all the information I really need to finish this off so I'll just draw a wee construction line across there which is the height and then I can firm these lines in here 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 Okay, all that remains to do is the kind of on-off button at the top needs to be drawn in. And again, uh, we've got to do some measurement um, and everything's to be halved. So it's a centimetre to there and it's a centimetre long. So we measure back five millimetres. I should be talking about millimetres all the time, but never mind. So five millimetres. 5 millimetres, so it's 5 millimetres for the position of it and then 5 millimetres for the width of it. So a couple of lines drawn there. Then just measure how far in it is. Take that from the elevation. It's symmetrical, so I can mark there and then mark there. Draw a line there, draw a line. There. And then we just project up from that. Up. 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 Can you measure the height of it? Mark it on. I have a wee extra line there which I shall just make disappear and I've also made that line a bit squint so just tidying that up. Essentially after I darken this line in we are finished and that's the job.
Dann.